In order to complete a basic design for assembly analysis, I've selected this piston assembly as an example. You can see here it consists of a base, a piston, a spring, a stop, a cover, and some screws. The first step in doing the analysis is to name the upper level of the assembly. So this is going to be the piston assembly. And to supply the envelope dimensions of the finished assembly. So it's going to be 2 by 3 by 1.125. Next we need to build the product structure. I'm going to do that by adding parts, subassemblies, operations from the toolbar. So I'm going to add a part, I'm going to call it base. I'm going to add another part, it's going to be the piston. I'm going to add another part, it's going to be the stop. I'm going to add another part, that will be the spring. Another part, that's the cover. And finally, the screws used to secure the cover, every peak count here is two. Once I've built this structure, I can go back and answer the design for assembly questions. I do that by making the appropriate choices from the questions panel over here on the right hand side. The base weighs less than five pounds. It has envelope dimensions of two by three by one inches. It has some other function than fastening and connecting. It's the base part in our assembly. It has 180 degrees or less of symmetry about no axes. It can be handled with one hand without a grasping tool. It presents no difficulties in handling. It's added but not secured. It has no insertion difficulties. The resulting process time for the operation of adding that to a bench is shown down here in the toolbar at the bottom of the screen. We simply then move on to the piston piston is a part that also weighs less than five pounds. It has a cylindrical envelope dimension. It's about an inch in diameter by let's say seven-eighths of an inch long. It has some other function um, in the assembly in that it must move relative to other items. It has 180 degrees or less symmetry about one axis. It can be handled with one hand without grasping tools. It has no handling difficulties is added but not secured, but the access to the mating location is restricted and the site of the mating location is also restricted. The stop is then added. It also weighs less than five pounds. It has a cylindrical envelope dimension of about seven-eighths of an inch by one-quarter of an inch. It has some other function in that it needs to be separate to allow assembly of other items. If it were combined with the base, I wouldn't be able to get the piston inside. It has 180 degrees or less symmetry about one axis. It can be handled with one hand and has no handling or insertion difficulties. The spring also weighs less than five pounds, has a cylindrical envelope of approximately three quarters of an inch by two inches in length. It has uh, a criteria of being need needed to be made of a different material. It has 180 degrees or less symmetry about one axis. It is able to be handled with one hand uh, without a grasping tool, not two hands due to severe nester tangle here, but we're going to say that it has a nester tangle difficulty. It also has no insertion difficulties and is added but not secured. The cover weighs less than five pounds. It's a rectangular envelope dimension. It has English unit dimensions of one by one by 0 0.06 inches. It actually uh, has other function than fastening or connecting. It doesn't need to move, doesn't need to be made of a different material, and doesn't need to be separate for reasons of assembly. So I could make a note here to say that I could consider combination with the piston stop. It has 180 degrees or less symmetry about no axes. It can be handled with one hand without a grasping tool. It has no handling difficulties, but it is not self-locating. And it's added and held down to the assembly, held down against the force of the spring. And finally, the screws, they weigh less than five pounds. 
They have a cylindrical envelope dimension of approximately a quarter by three-eighths of an inch. Their sole function is to fasten. They have 180 degrees of symmetry, about one axis. Um, they present no handling difficulties. They are secured by threaded fastening using in this case a nut or screwdriver and we're going to flag them as being not self-locating. That actually completes the design for assembly analysis and if I click up at the top of the screen here I can see the results. Um, seven of the, there are seven parts in the assembly, four meet the theoretical minimum and 46.30 seconds of total assembly time to put the product together. If I click on the redesign button, I'm presented with a list of categories that show me opportunities for simplification of the product structure and easing of the assembly operations. You can see here the suggestion is being made that the cover is a candidate for combination with the piston stop. I could actually highlight that uh, part on the tree and manipulate the information. I can also copy this analysis paste the analysis and call rename the tab that appears redesign and then I can manipulate the original structure and make comparisons back to the initial design so here I could delete the cover and I could then make my piston stop a piston stop slash cover but the piston stop slash cover would need to be changed in the answers to the questions in that it would now be secured by snap fitting perhaps. Um, we could perhaps have three snap elements that fitted a plastic snap fit cover in place and it would be dragged down here to the bottom to be added after the um, spring. The redesign suggestion will also show me here any parts that are uh, have a sole function of fastening and in this case if I were to delete the stop slash cover uh, the uh, cover and combine it with the stop. I wouldn't need to have the screws if I used a plastic injection molded part into which I could put snap fit features. So that would allow me to eliminate outright the screws. And I could have now a simple assembly that contained just the piston, the base, the piston, the spring, and the stop slash cover combination that was snap fitted to the base. And if I wanted to see that comparison on the design for assembly totals report, I could compare the original to the redesign, say OK, and I could see the results shown here for what happened in the before and after of the um, analysis that took place. You can see here seven entries in the original, four entries in the redesign.